hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is eliza at eliza journals if you're new here welcome if not welcome back so today i'm going to be showing you a quick video of something i purchased for my birthday so today is actually monday september 2nd my birthday is on the third but i purchased this about two weeks ago and if you're new to my channel you may not have seen my other videos of me talking about a specific pen that I wanted. So when I went to the um, Atlanta Pen Show back in April, there was a display of a gold capless. And I'm literally like, oh my gosh, I really, really love that. But I don't think it was for sale. I think it was just for show because at the time pilot was not even selling any of their pens and it's a pen show and i'm thinking are you not selling this because i want this they were just letting people ride with them pretty much like a display just letting you play with the pens, see which one you like and then they will just refer you to a retailer and then when i saw the gold cap list i'm literally like i want that one and they was like well it's limited edition so you might have to find a retailer that still have it because they only made so many okay so i have been looking for this pilot vanishing point or capless um it is a etoya limited edition capless and i've been looking for it for forever and then i finally found a seller on ebay who actually had one they only had like one extra fine and then i waited for a um i probably waited for about maybe two months and then i was like i really really want this pen i really really want it but i don't really know if i want to pay that much for it and then by the time i went on there and i just made the decision okay i think i'm gonna just buy it um someone had bought the extra fine and then he only had fines left so um yeah i know the box is already open because <laughs> i had already did a reel for my instagram but i am going to show you all the capless it is so beautiful i can i cannot even begin to like tell you all how beautiful this is it's so beautiful and i do have another capless that i will show you all but right now i just want to show you all this gold stripe capless and then i wish i can i just i don't even want to get my fingers all over it because you can get your i don't even want to get my fingerprints on this so i'm not sure if you can see the engraving in here probably can't see it but the it has the pilot japan etoya engraving and i absolutely love it and look at that that nib is beautiful it's amazing and they have a silver one also like this but i was not interested in the silver one i was interested in getting this gold one i mean it's so beautiful and if you know anything about gold nibs gold nibs to me they write a lot smoother they are a little bit more flexible but they're smoother and every gold nib i've ever tried does not have like that scratchy feedback and of course i've already written with this and i've learned that the mechanism that causes it to retract is called a knock and i learned that so i'm going to show you all what came in the box so pretty much the pen that came in the box and then this is a, a fine nib and then it comes with a black cartridge which i didn't even put this in there and then it comes with like instructions and then a user care guide so some of this is in english and some of it of course is in japanese so and this time i actually read the instructions because this capless 
even though it resembles my other one which i will show you in a minute it does not have um a cartridge like the other capitalist nor does it have a converter like the other capitalist it is it operates a little bit differently so i'm just going to show you all and this just tells you how to remove the knobs and things like that okay so i'm just going to show you all so i made a mistake and i've already inked it up but i'm going to carefully just remove that and then this here is where the ink is housed so the ink i'm i don't think it's a converter but i think it's just an empty cartridge that they've given that they've given you so it came with an empty cartridge and the empty cartridge looks exactly like this i don't want to remove the cartridge out because it's going to waste obviously but it was empty and then i filled it already so it fits in there i can take this out it fits in there so the cartridge fits down in here and then you put this cap back over the cartridge and then so there's a knob here that lets you know exactly where to slide it back in and then once it's back in you just push it down and you twist it so i absolutely love this so now i'm going to show you all the other cap list that i have which came in matte black i bought this one about mm, almost it hasn't even been a year i bought it sometime this year so this is my other cap list and this one is a extra fine this one is a matte black and i will show you how it opens up extremely similar but this one has a converter it came with the converter and like this one you could just pull the converter out and it has the beads in there to keep the ink from drying out so i actually have to clean this out because i've used this one up and it also has that knob where you know where to reinsert this back in to the pen and it does have a spring in both of them that causes the mechanism to retract so when you fill this you just pretty much take it out and you fill it i just take this out because it's easier for me i take it out and just refill this with the syringe and then put this back in there or you can, since it's a piston converter, you can dip it in there and then twist the ink up. But I, I don't do that. I find that kind of hard because the bottle needs to be tilted in order for it to suction all the ink back up. So when it's not retracted, so let me use, let's see. I'm going to use my other pen stand so when it's not retracted it is about the same size so a cartridge for the Etoya edition probably would not fit the regular pilot vanishing point I'm not sure if the converter is the same because I don't have a converter and I probably will try to buy a converter for this one, but we'll see. I mean, because really you could just continue to, to re-ink the, the cartridge that's already in there. So let's see with it retracted. And it looks to be exactly the same size. So when we hold it together and i'm looking at the nib so i usually like to hold the nibs like this because most of the time 
you think that the nails are the same and most of the times they're not so you can definitely tell the etoya edition capitalist is a little bit thicker on the end than the than the extra fine pilot vanishing point so you can definitely tell that this is a fine nib and this is an extra fine so and i don't have this ink which is really bad for my video but i don't have this ink but i am going to pen test this one for you i have this one inked with sailor manio ayame and I love Sailor Inks. If anyone knows me knows that I absolutely love Sailor Inks. And pretty much I use this already to <laughs> pen test it for my reel. But I will let you all just see it again. And sorry for the mess so maybe i should bring you all down to my level so that you can actually see how the pen flows Focus. I mean amazing it writes so good it's it's ex it writes so good it's extremely amazing I'm absolutely I cannot even get over how amazing this pen actually writes I really cannot it's smooth it's it literally glides across the paper like buttery smooth I absolutely love it and do I have any regrets about this pen absolutely zero regrets I love it this is my last pen well no this was the last one that I purchased but this is not the last pen that I will be showing you on my channel because I bought two pens before I purchased this one but this one is amazing I love it it was the best purchase I've ever bought. It literally writes better than every pen that I own. And it's worth every single penny. But anyway, so just let me know your comments, how you like today's video. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.